The emerald ash borer was first discovered in North America near Detroit in 2002. Since then, it has spread to over 25 states and Canada, decimating ash populations along the way. It was sort of a perfect storm. That came over in shipping containers from China, and it was killing over 90% of the trees that it came upon. You really do see the loss, and it makes you feel terrible about it. In order to even know where you're having a problem and what you might be able to do about it, you have to know that the insect is there first. It might take five or six years before people realize that something is in an area. Because evidence of an infestation takes so long to manifest itself, the only way to stop the spread is an early detection method. For this, Dr. Demeng enlisted an unlikely collaborator, a thin film scientist who specializes in biomimicry. So he explained the whole idea that these particular insects, they recognize their mates visually rather than chemically. And he said he wanted to see if we could make visual decoys of these insects. Just to see what they are seeing when they look at these beetles, we took the beetles into a dark room and shined a white laser onto the beetles. And as a result, you have a scattering pattern. What we suspect is that they're flying through this field of flickering light and their entire eyes and their whole bodies experiencing this sort of on and off flickering. Only a highly precise form of reproduction is capable of mimicking the female ash borer's surface. So we take a female and you put it in a vacuum chamber and you deposit on it something that is called a columnar thin film. And this columnar thin film is made of nickel. So the result is parallel columns of nickel grow. So you may have seen the toy. Children put their hands under and there are a large number of pins on top. And so the surface of the hand is reproduced. The same thing happens here. And when the insect is removed, a cavity is left behind. And the cavity mirrors the fine scale features of the insect. So what we do in my laboratory is to put liquid polymer and it gets cured. Therefore, the upper surface of the entire female is actually reproduced. And then we will simply coat it with a green color paint, the kind you can find in a hobby shop. They put them on sticky paper. And then the males come, they land on the decoy, and they get stuck to the paper. Now, this is an effective way of capturing one or two or three males. But after a while, the decoy will be overloaded with males, and so it will become useless. We had an idea to take it one step further. They have those tennis racket electric zappers in Walmart, whatever electricity is in those, you could probably apply to the insects. Once you just open them up, you had sort of like a little mini taser that was built for bugs. Sort of a aha, mad scientist kind of moment. When their first results came and they were overjoyed, you know, they got an email, you know, it worked. <laughs> yeah. That we would be able to fool male emerald ash borers, now that was really cool. 